1 Thessalonians 5 verse 22 KJV Abstain from all appearance of evil. In the King James Version it reads, All appearance. Meanwhile, in the New Versions it reads, Every form or reject every kind. To abstain from all appearance of evil can have two meanings. Don't look at something that is evil, or don't allow a person to perceive that you are doing something evil, even if you are not. To abstain from every form of evil doesn't put up this perimeter, as you might not be doing the evil, yet you are looking at it. 1 Timothy 3.16 KJV and without controversy, great is the mystery of godliness. God was manifest in the flesh, justified in the spirit, seen of angels, preached unto the Gentiles, believed on in the world, received up into glory. In the King James Version, it reads, God. Meanwhile, in the New Versions, it reads, He. Who was manifest in the flesh? A generic he is pathetic, as you can look to anyone and they can tell you, sure, I'm manifest in the flesh. The reason why this verse is special is because God was manifest in the flesh. That doesn't typically happen and would be a real miraculous and powerful event to occur. Far more impressive than he was manifest in the flesh. The KJV rendition can be used in witnessing to lost people, while the new versions will get a resounding so what from unbelievers. 2 Timothy 2 verse 15 Study to show thyself approved unto God, a workman that needeth not to be ashamed, rightly dividing the word of truth. In the King James Version it says, Study and rightly dividing the word of truth. Meanwhile, in the New Versions it reads, Do your best and rightly handling the word of truth. Or be diligent to present yourself and accurately handling the word of truth. In the KJV, you have two very specific commands. Study and rightly divide the word of truth. God actually commands you to study his word. Where 2 Peter 3 verse 16 says about those who don't are unlearned and unstable rest as they do also the other scriptures, unto their own destruction. Rightly dividing is realizing which verse is about you and which one isn't, as there are dispensational times where God's mode of operation of salvation is different from one time to another. Examples being, now a person can be saved by grace through faith, Meanwhile, under the Mosaic Law, a Jew was required to observe the ordinances. Titus 2 verse 13, KJV Looking for that blessed hope, and the glorious appearing of the great God and our Savior, Jesus Christ. In the King James Version it reads, And our Savior, Jesus Christ. Meanwhile, in the New Versions it reads, and Savior Jesus Christ. This verse was the subject of this channel's video, one of many pathetic attempts to disprove the KJV. Jesus Christ is our Savior, not of the lost world. Hebrews 3.16 KJV For some when they had heard, did provoke, 
howbeit not all that came out of Egypt by Moses. The King James Version reads, For some, howbeit not all that came out of Egypt by Moses. Meanwhile, the New Versions read, Was it not all those who left Egypt led by Moses? Caleb and Joshua did not act against the Lord's commands. So why are the new versions lying? KJV says, for some, and then makes a statement how it is not all, while the new versions give no indication of the unity of those who provoked against Moses and God, leading to a consistent interpretation that the new versions are trying to say that everyone had turned away. God is not the author of confusion. Stick with the authorized version. Hebrews 9 verse 4, KJV, which had the golden censer and the Ark of the Covenant overlaid round about with gold, wherein was the golden pot that had manna, and Aaron's rod that budded, and the tables of the covenant. The King James Version reads, Golden Censer. Meanwhile, the New Versions read, Golden Altar of Incense. The Golden Altar of Incense was never placed past the second veil where the Ark was. As Hebrews 9 verse 3 says, And after the second veil, the tabernacle which is called the holiest of all. The altar only remained in the holy place, not the Holy of Holies, Exodus 40, verse 5 and verse 21, while the golden censer was placed past the second veil, but did not stay there, according to Leviticus 16, verses 12 to 13. The Ark of the Covenant was the only furniture that was kept in the holiest of all, which shows the new versions would be in error. Revelation 1 verse 7, KJV, Behold, he cometh with clouds, and every eye shall see him, and they also which pierced him, and all kindreds of the earth shall wail because of him. Even so, amen. In the King James Version it reads, And all kindreds of the earth shall wail because of him. Meanwhile, in the New Versions it reads, And all the tribes of the earth will mourn over him. To say that they shall wail because of him is exactly what Jesus will actually come to do. Vengeance on all those who rejected the Son of God. They will not mourn over him in penitential sorrow, because at that point God will not give them a chance to do so it will be too late. This rendering is exactly what Brookfoss Westcott intended with his 1881 rendition. Christ's first ministry was to teach the good news in peace as the Lamb of God, but when he returns, he comes as the Lion of Judah with a cup of his wrath. If you want to see more differences, subscribe to this channel or go to Gumroad and download list. Also on Gumroad is a KJV vs. New Tract along with other tracts and content you can download and print. All monetary contributions are appreciated. Thank you for watching this segment and hope this has been to your edification.